picture this, a world where digital transactions are as seamless as the air we breathe, where the digital economy flourishes without the constraints of traditional financial boundaries. This is the vision of Dessa Network, a burgeoning star in the crypto universe, aiming to redefine the way we perceive and use digital assets. Now to understand the allure of Dessa Network, let's first dive into their quagmire it seeks to resolve. The crypto world, while revolutionary, is fraught with challenges. Limited accessibility, complex user faces, and the big one, trust. Now how can we commit to digital currencies if the ground beneath it is shaky with security breaches and volatile markets? Well, enter Destra Networks, the superhero in this narrative. With a cloak of advanced blockchain technology, it swoops in to address these very issues. And in this video, I'm going to tell you all about it. Destra Network falls under the deep in and AI narrative, which has been covered multiple times on my channel. Now the project is a conceptual cryptocurrency project designed to address various challenges within the blockchain and financial ecosystems. To comprehensively cover this topic, we'll delve into the technology behind Destra Network, the problems it aims to solve, the solution it proposes, its real world use cases, user benefits, and conclude with both a bullish and bearish scenario for its future. Future. Now, at the core of Destra's innovation is its unique feature, Desync. And Desync stands as the cornerstone of Destra's infrastructure, a state of the art consensus mechanism that transcends the limitations of traditional blockchain technology. Now, unlike conventional systems that often struggle with the scalability and speed, Desync facilitates a seamless high speed transaction process that can scale dynamically with network demand. Now, this mechanism ensures that Destra Network can handle a vast number of transactions quickly and efficiently eliminating the bottlenecks that plague other blockchain systems. And at Destra, your privacy takes center stage, with the specter of censorship fading away. Now they aim to offer a suite of services that make true decentralization possible. For example, you can use their decentralized domain name for your RPC, regaining control of the domain name previously held by ICANN which stands for the Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers, which is a global multi-stakeholder group and non-profit organization headquartered in the United States responsible for coordinating and maintenance and procedures of several databases related to the namespaces and numerical spaces of the Internet. Now the three pillars of Destra are Destra GPU Network, Destra Cloud Solution and AI Computing Solutions. They have the centralized, decentralized aspect of it made possible by smart contracts, IPFS, Destro nodes, Destro ENS gateway, decentralized DNS and the distributed GPU and TPU network. Now all of which converts power to the Destro network. And their cloud solutions includes all the services you need to build or migrate your dApps. They offer several services for that to make it happen. Now one of the reasons why I like this project has to do with their Destro GPU network. In the AI hardware market, graphics processing units or GPUs and central processing units or CPUs currently dominate due to their high computing capabilities, which are essential for AI frameworks. This trend underscores the significant role of GPUs in the AI landscape, especially in high performance computing tasks like AI and ML frameworks. Now, thanks to the AI traffic and resource management algorithms of Destra, no resource is wasted. And this is different from other networks and protocols where users usually use their GPU power to run nodes and get rewards for their endless hashing. The model of Destra is much simpler to explain. You just contribute your GPU power to the network and you get a reward. So you consume GPU power from the network, you pay charges. Now in their documents, they mention three use cases which are biosimulations, rendering graphical media and training LLMs. Simulating viruses, bacteria or other microorganisms, RNS structures requires humongous GPU power, which is impossible from a single cluster or a centralized source. Now these simulations can be run by harnessing the distributed GPU power available on the Destro network. The GPU power can also be used for rendering games, videos and other content. Now the final pillar is AI computing solutions. And what's important to know is that the decentralized tensor processing unit network by Destra is integrated with BitTensor, the leading project in the AI crypto space. The benefit to this is that it allows for seamless peer-to-peer -peer sharing of AI computational power, enabling users to contribute their TPU resources to the network or consume AI services provided by others. The algorithms of Destra 
are designed to optimize resource allocation and traffic flow across the entire network, ensuring that every user and application receives the bandwidth, storage and computational power it needs without unnecessary wastage of bottlenecks. But how exactly does desync work, you might wonder? Well, it employs a novel approach to validate transactions combining elements of proof of stake and proof of history to create a synchronized decentralized ledger. And this hybrid model not only accelerates transaction verification, but also enhances security and energy efficiency, making Desra a green and sustainable choice in the blockchain world. And before we move on, I want to remind you all, I'm not a registered financial advisor, okay? My videos are meant to be educational and entertaining only. So always do your own research and only invest money you're willing to lose because even though you can gain a lot in crypto, you will most likely lose it all. Now, because you're all very dear to me and I like to help keep your crypto safe, I was able to work out a deal with Decent, which is a hardware manufacturer which offers two types of hardware wallets. The first one is a biometric hardware wallet, allowing you to log in and verify transactions with your fingerprint. And the second one is their all-in-one card wallet, which is a credit card sized hardware wallet and ideal for on the go. The best thing about this hardware wallet is that you don't need to charge it or you don't need to connect it to the computer, but you can just use your NFC technology together with your phone to do your transactions and manage your cryptocurrencies. And because they are the sponsor of this channel, I'm actually able to give you a $30 discount by using the link down below. And while you're checking out links anyway, be sure to join me in my free Telegram and Twitter as well, where I share news quicker than I do on this channel because these videos take a long time to produce. Right, let's move on with the video. So let's dive deep into a bullish and a bearish scenario for desktop network. In a bullish perspective, Destro Network fueled by Decent could catapult to prominence in the cryptocurrency world. The first catalyst is the ever-growing demand for faster, cheaper and more accessible digital transactions. Now, as businesses and consumers alike become more digitally savvy, they seek platforms that can offer these benefits without compromising on security or usability. Destra, with its innovative technology and user-centric design, stands out as a prime candidate to leading this charge. Furthermore, the increasing integration of blockchain technology across various sectors, from finance to supply management, present a golden opportunity for Destra. Its ability to handle large-scale applications and transactions efficiently makes it a preferred choice for enterprises looking to leverage blockchain's power. And conversely, in a bearish scenario, several factors could impede Destra's path to success. The crypto space is notorious for its volatility and regulatory uncertainty. A sudden change in regulatory frameworks and key markets could impose stringent restrictions on Destra's operations, affecting its adoption and growth. Now, additionally, the intense competition in the blockchain arena means Destra must continually innovate and outperform to stay relevant and valuable. Another potential hindrance is the technical complexities associated with blockchain technology. Despite Desync's advantages, the broader public's misunderstanding or mistrust of blockchain intricacies could slow down Destro's adoption. And moreover, any significant bugs or security vulnerabilities in the network could erode user trust and diminish its market position. And now it's time for the final topic of this video, which is actually the most favorite topic I like to talk about, which are the metrics, because there's always two ways you need to look at a project. First is fundamentals, and the second part is their metrics. Now, first up, BubbleMaster.io is the tool that I use to look at the wallet distribution and to see whether or not there are wallets holding a big chunk of the tokens. In the case of Destra, the only wallet holding over 1% of the tokens is Uniswap. And other than that, everybody is under the 1%, which is a good thing because the more people holding the tokens, the more steady the price action will be and the less likely you will get dumped on. You can also tell by the bubbles you see. In this case, I don't even see wallets that are being connected, so that's a very positive thing for Destra, and that looks good. And then next up, one of my most favorite tools in the crypto space, which is Dune.com. You can search for the token analyzer, have the chain set to Ethereum, and then paste the contract address. By default, I always leave the day set to 30, and it shows you the number of token holders that have been added today, but also the total amount of token holders. That gives you an indication of the popularity of this project. You can also see the current relation between the token holders and the price action, which means that it's a very good tool to use when you want to figure out where the project is heading 
in regards to this. It also allows you to see the top 100 holders and that's good for two reasons. The first reason is that you can tell how much percentage people own of the token. So it kind of works the same like bubble maps because that way you can see whether or not there is a big whale that can dump the price by him or her self. Now the second reason why this is a good thing is because let's say you're researching a new project then you can find the whale within that project check out that account on something like let's say etherscan or arkham intelligence and then maybe they know something you don't know or maybe they hold some tokens you've never heard of which gives you another edge in crypto the same goes for the metric top 100 trades by estimated profit if there are a lot of successful trades that could give you some good intel as well so in conclusion, the Destro network with its desync technology is at a crossroads filled with immense opportunities and daunting challenges. Be sure to follow their socials to stay up to date for the latest news. So let us know in the comment section down below what your thoughts on this project are. And then I'd like to see you in my free telegram. I'd like to see you on my Twitter and I'd like to see you next time. Doei!